In this tutorial, we will cover uh, lines in 3ds Max, which are also known as editable splines. So to access these, go to Create tab, go to your second icon here, which is the 2D geometry, and under here we have um, splines. And so there are some standard primitive splines. You can make rectangles, you know, circles, things like that. Um, in this tutorial, we're just going to cover a line, so you have a little more control over what the shape is. Um, also, if you import geometry from Rhino or AutoCAD or another software program, it's going to come in as an editable spline or one of these lines. So you can do the same edits on that line as well. I tend to do all my 2D line work in a program like Rhino or AutoCAD just because it's easier to draft in those programs. And then I'll import them and then manipulate them, extrude them as necessary in here. But if you do want to create your own lines in here, this is how you do it. So you just left click. To create your vertices and then when you if you want to close your line you left click on the beginning point um, or you can just click out here as well so I'll go ahead and close this it's gonna ask me if I want to close it I say yes and that's now a closed shape so the first thing you can do is edit these vertices you notice it just creates a, um, a polyline so an angular line to begin with if you want to change that before you create the line over here, you can change it to a smooth line. These are not NURBS, so they are lines. They, are they um, do have some Bezier point potential, which we'll talk about later. But in general, you create polylines, and then you can smooth the curves if you want to add smoothness to them. There's some nice advantages to that, which I'll show you in a second. So once you create the line, you can go to your Modify tab here, and you'll see the line. You can open that up and access the sub-objects, just like the Edit Poly. In this case, the sub-objects are vertices, which are all of these points, um, segments, which are the um, lines between two points, and then spline is the overall geometry. So um, just like Edit Polys, there's a few things you can do to each of these different sub-objects. So if we go to vertice, the first thing you can do, and this is why I find these uh, a little bit nicer than NURB sometimes, is that you can select points. You can select multiple points or just one point. And you can right-click on those points and then over here you have the option to change the point type. So by default I had an initial creation method as corner, but now I can change it even though I've already made the line, I can change those to smooth. And you can see that you can start mixing um, smooth and corner points within one line geometry, which is a really nice feature. Um, of course you can move you use your move rotate scale tools so that's how you can start to manipulate these if you want to move things in exact distance you can type in in your XYZ input windows down here um, so you do have a lot of control over the line once you make it so the next thing we can do and you can always by the way right click and change these uh, at any time so everything is parametric so even if you add modifiers to this you can right click and change them so if we go over here to the right a few things we can do. Uh, first thing is you can render this with a thickness. So if you have a line network and you want to render it like a, a wireframe, you can actually render it with a thickness and you can do a radial like a pipe or rectangular, which would be like a rectangular section. Um, there's other things we can do, which we'll talk about in a little bit that are that are more modeling um, and more permanent, but we'll, we'll, for now we'll just um, look at those. Um, the other thing you can do is come over here um, notice that when you select a point, it has a, a point, so this is vertex number six. That can sometimes be important. Um, and then further down, there's a bunch of different options for editing the geometry. So the first one is uh, welding. So if you had two points that were not connected um, and you want to join those, the term for join in 3ds Max is weld, and then that's the threshold. So if it's within that distance, the two points, they'll weld together and join. Um, Another thing you can do is connect. So if you have a, let's say we are missing this segment and we want to connect those two points, um, you can use the connect command and actually just draw from that point to that point and it will create a new new point, a new segment in there. Um, let's go ahead and move this and look at the weld. So if I move this one, let's say I move it over here and select these two points. If I want to join those, I hit this weld and they have to be within this dimension. So I can increase that dimension um, and then they'll weld if they're within that threshold. Um, okay, so let's just go back. I'll just undo some of that. The next one is make first. So you can see right now there's a yellow point there and that's the first point. So it counts one, two, three, four, five, six. And it, I don't know which direction it's going in, but that'll, um, that'll matter if you're starting to loft between objects. You want the first point always to be aligned with the next first point. Um, some other things you can do, um, like cross insert, 
Uh, that's if you have two lines that intersect. So let's say I have uh, another line in here. Um, up here, there's an option to create line. So let's say I create another line within this um, spline network here. If I do cross insert, that'll find the closest intersection of those two lines. Right now, they're not intersecting. So let me actually do another line over here where they do intersect. There we go. And if I do cross insert, if they're within, if those lines come within that distance of each other, it'll create a point at that intersection. So you'll see it creates a point on each line at that intersection. So it would work on this line if my distance was greater. Right, so there it works. So those are the two closest points on, on those two lines from each other. And the next one is fillet. So fillet is the same as every other program. Um, you can just fillet the corner points of two lines. One thing to note is if you have something like a, a Bezier uh, point, right, that has these handles, the fillet acts a little strange on, on those. So just keep that in mind. I, when I do a fillet, I always make sure I'm filleting um, corner points. So corner points instead of Bezier points. Um, chamfer is much like a fillet, but it does a um, angular chamfer to the line. And, and those are the big ones for the vertices. So the next one is segment, the really useful uh, tool within segment. There's not a lot of options here, but the um, useful one is refine. You can also find that, by the way, in vertice and spline, but refine add, adds points. So you can add points to a line. You can always, by the way, delete points. So if I select a point, Let's say I select that vertice, you can always just delete it. Um, let's go back to segment. Another really useful one within segment is um, divide. So if I come down here, there's this divide option, and that just puts uh, divides this by a number of points. So if I divide, it'll add three points. Now notice it kind of weighted them to one side, and that's because this vertice over here is a Bezier vertice. So that's another time when you want to make sure that if you're dividing between two points, you select those points and make them corner points. And that will ensure that you get an even division. So you can see now they're evenly spaced on that line. So that's just a, an interesting feature to keep in mind. If you're going to do a divide, make sure you're dividing between two corner points if you want the division to be even. Um, you can also detach things. So it's the same as at Poly, where it will break it off into another line geometry. And uh, those are the basic ones for segments. So the next one is the spline. And the big ones on spline, you can also attach, if you have other line geometries that you brought in from another program, you want to attach them into this one line object. You can do that with attach. Um, but a few other things you can do. You can reverse the direction of a line. You can outline, which is the same as offset. So if I select this one, for example, and I outline, that's offset. Um, you can also trim and extend lines. You can see you can do it by infinite bounds, which means they don't actually have to intersect. So you can see right now, like these two, if I extend that, it's going to just miss there. But if I use infinite bounds and extend, it'll extend um, to where it would intersect, so an apparent intersection. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, you can also trim. So trim lines works like every other program. We can trim things and again, apparent intersection. So even if they don't intersect, the infinite bounds allows them to still trim. So those are the big ones. You can detach, you can delete things, you can explode into segments, uh, but those are the big ones with editable spline.